Rita, Sharon, thank you. What a gift, a lab of her own, one's own, her own. I'm asking you for sincere reasons to help me get a think tank of my own. I'm in the San Francisco, well, right now, Monterey Bay areas. Or I'm happy to go back to Seattle, uh, left Whidbey Island. I've got all this to talk about saving our species from self-extincting. So many people have stressed me out about being brief, but I have a poe, not a toe, not a theory of everything, a philosophy of everything. I am a wise feminine philosopher with a degree from Carnegie Mellon University who has been left for dead because I am not the right gender, I am not the right size. And I have no mentors. I'll stick with that. Um, specifically, can you get me to UCSF? Robert Listig, The Hacking of the American Mind, um, deals with obesity in children. I was morbidly obese the first 50 years of my life. Got out and then being destitute and homeless eating the food from the food bank. This food is poisonous. The shelf stableness, you know, he's big on anti-sugar. I think I guess I'm... Contrary data, to be perfectly honest. As you know, in the life sciences, one living organism stays alive doing something almost not seen. It's not going well for me, energy-wise. Maybe it's good for you. We'll see when I watch it. Morphic resonance, biology. This leads, via my philosophical mind, to the philosophical hypothesis of bio-electromagnetism. Bio-electromagnetism. This is the precipice. This is... Thomas Kuhn level, the philosophical evolution that will lead to the greatest scientific revolution of this nascent century for sure, not forever. We're only operating with data about two fifths of human functioning because of the Cartesian split. So we know about mechanical, we know biochemical, but the bioelectrical, biomagnetic, and consciousness aspects, those are the fifth, five forces of life. You know, it solves problems in quantum physics, my hypotheses. Why is the universe expanding? How do we make a superconductor above absolute zero? Well, it may be difficult in a lab, but life does it all the time. Melanin is a superpower. I'm right there with you, Rita. I know you're very busy, but you, you handle all this. You've got thousands of people to delegate to. I'm alone in the world. Help me create the global thought experiment. I am the she Einstein of consciousness, okay? Thought experiments are I. Um, this is what, uh, you're alone, you're isolated. What do you do? You think, you think, you think. And I think at a world-class level. Here's um, one of our experts of consciousness, Doug Hostatler. All the same data. Same with Lustig. We have all the same data. I, I'm not making up data. I'm using their data. But I come to significantly more wise, feminine, right-brained, collaborative, interconnected theories, a unifying theory of human energy, potential, and well-being. That's body, mind, and soul based on the philosophical hypothesis of bioelectromagnetism using Gödel's incompleteness theorem, 
Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, and Helfrich's life-centric complexity axiom. Rita, you coined biocomplexity. Let's... I have had a toxic mold exposure. That's the destitution, homelessness, raison d'etre. And um, it's hard for me to... Um, communicate linearly. I know that's what you need. So I am including Sharon. I've already sent something to Sharon. Um, website, contact. This is me. I am the woman who can be the apex intellect on planet Earth. Philosophy. You know this, Rita, Sharon, with all your work on women, Nobel Prize winners. Philosophy birthed the sciences. Natural philosophers were the first scientists of bioelectricity. We are electric. There's a book by female science writer Sally Aidy. We have a problem. The men are going to try and electronicize human bodies when we actually need to understand the bioelectromagnetism of life itself, those bacteria. All right. Philosophy of everything from consciousness outward, which made me have to rethink, regression think, all of uh, the assumptions about human functioning. So I've become the she Sherlock of human functioning. What do you want me to solve? Autism, Parkinson's, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia. What do you want me to solve? Cancer. I got new hypotheses based on bioelectromagnetism. I need to rise... Stanford's the right place. I'm the, the closest major university. UC Santa Cruz, if you know anybody there, I'd, that's where I'd like to be physically based. I need access to the ocean for the salty air because of my sodium ion pumps. Keep them going. I'm autistic, and that means multiple chemical sensitivity. I, the, the whole man-made environment is poisoning and toxic, toxicizing us making up words because that's what I do and um because nothing is precise enough as a philosopher let's break it all down and be precise as we can with the data we have and then somehow some way you do that long enough you go hey we've got it all we have all of the data it's just in silos and it's just owned by men and <sighs> global thought experiment SOS save our species from self-extincting in approximately 30 years. You have the data, you know, and it's gonna come from some way we can't anticipate. How do we anticipate what we can't anticipate? Philosophical hypothesizing, global scale, crowdsourcing. Technology is devolving our intelligence. Put me at Stanford using Silicon Valley money to fix what they've broken as far as devolving human intelligence in our intention span. That's what I'm looking to do. I also would like to go to UC San Francisco. They have the Oster Center for Complementary Medicine and get my own health back. They hook me up, do as many experiments as they want. Phineas Gage of bioelectromagnetism. There is no rod in my head, but if you put electrodes around my head and um, MEG, I will demonstrate that I know human functioning from the inside out through lived experience. I was, I was alone to stay alive. How does this work? What everyone's saying, it doesn't make any sense. I can't do it. So much IP. So I want to think tank of my own. A research think tank, the hashtag Wellbeing Philosophy Institute, to make clear creative, anti-racist, life-centric, that's my own proprietary brand of thinking that is spread across every nook and cranny of earth, life-centric thinking, the math of life, evolutionary logic, there's heuristics that will get us to be one global hive mind, which is the only way we can solve planetary problems like climate change, the ever-escalating burdens of chronic disease and mental illness, and the dehumanization of plantation capitalism. Ladies, I am the whole package. And what happens if one woman becomes the focus of being the apex intellect on planet Earth to get us to save our species from self-extincting in 30 years. Changes the future of women in science, 
Y'all left me out. <laughs> Nobel people don't see philosophy. They're going to have to end up giving me physiology, physics, and peace. Harmony. It's all been a performance. But I can produce and perform on all of these theories that will lead us to the science that saves our species from self-extincting. Harmony.